M-I-C. See the big, beautiful, blue-spired castle down at the end of Main Street? K-E-Y. Wide footpaths open before you, leading you into a day full of adventure and fantasy. M-O-U-S-E. Happy fall, y'all. I'm Josh. This is Josh Build Stuff. And you know what I find to be the perfect fall family activity? That's right, spending the whole day in Walt Disney World, the most magical place on Earth. And that's convenient because the set that we're talking about today is the Disney Castle, based on Cinderella's Castle, which is in Walt Disney World, Florida. Florida is where I grew up, so I'm actually very familiar with this castle. I was very much looking forward to this set. I'm very excited to own it. I was excited to build it, and now I'm very happy that it is built complete. I am I'm very, very happy with this build. Maybe this office right now is actually the happiest place on earth because I have this castle and it makes me very happy. So as not to confuse you with other Disney castles, this is the mini Disney castle, not the mini mouse Disney castle and not like one of many Disney castles. No, this is the miniature Disney Castle. This one just came out at the beginning of October in 2021. It contains 567 pieces and costs $35 here in the U.S. You heard that right. It is over 500 pieces for this rather small set. This little fella is a densely packed castle. So let's unpack this castle as I tell you all of the reasons why I love this little set and all of the reasons why I love Walt Disney World Florida. But first, just like you build an itinerary for a trip, we've got to build this set. The build for this set was surprisingly complex and a little tedious, but I still loved every second of it. Obviously, most of the pieces included in this build are incredibly small, and so it is a lot of very small building. But still, in order to get these unique shapes to this uniquely shaped castle, then there had to be a lot of very interesting techniques going on. And they were fun, they were interesting, there were clips going on sideways, all of the different spires had to be built up individually, there are gold crowbars and binoculars used throughout the thing. I just love the color combination of this bright blue and this kind of this light bland gray, and I think the whole thing comes together so wonderfully in the end, but it still, like I said, it was complex. It was broken into four separate build bags. It actually took me a good amount of time to build, maybe an hour and a half or two hours, but like I said, I loved every second of this build. Let's take a quick minute to compare this new official mini Disney castle to this micro Disney castle, which I have actually owned for a long time. This is a fan design. I bought this from buildbetterbricks.com. It was designed by Tyler Kleitz and Sean Mayo. This set contains 427 pieces, but as you can see, this one is more of a micro scale as the official set is a, I guess we would call it a mini scale. I don't think Lego was as concerned with like building out their set to be exactly proportional. They would rather make just a cool looking castle set. Whereas the micro set, they used some interesting build techniques. A lot of things laying on their side. This set is a little less stable than the official set, but still I bought this forever ago because I love Disney and the Disney castles obviously, and so I'm I'm very glad that I bought this, and I still do love it very much, but the scale is a lot smaller, as you can see, but I think it's more in proportion to that of the actual castle that we would see in real life. The micro version here is also more of just a front facade. It's a little simpler. It doesn't look that great from behind, whereas myself and the uh, mini Disney castle here look great from all directions. That being said, I would still say even if you own the mini castle, I would still look into getting this micro one because it, it does still look really great. It supports some great creators. So go check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description down below, assuming it's still available to buy. I haven't actually checked that before making this part of the video. As far as this Lego set is concerned, there's not actually a whole lot here. It's just a castle and a single Mickey Mouse minifigure. Granted, I love this little minifigure and I love this little mouse and everything this little dude represents and stands for. I also love this castle, its construction, its design, its colors. I love every single bit of it, but I am extremely biased. Like I said, as a Lego set, there's not much here. The castle is indeed dense and beautiful and complex and very well built and well designed, but that's that's, that's like the entire set. If if that was all that I wanted to say in a boring old review, we'd be done right now. But instead, let's take a journey. I'd like you to close your eyes with me. Take a deep breath. Oh, what's that I smell? Is that churros in the, that I smell? Some cinnamon sugary goodness. Oh, is that a, a Dole Whip? The sweet 
pineapple creamy goodness. I've actually only just had one of those for the first time very recently. And then, oh, are those those giant weird turkey legs that are a really odd pink color, but you can smell them from a mile away. You've got to get one when you visit a Disney park. And it's like a little too big to eat by yourself. And so you kind of go to share it with your friends, but it's like a, a you and a bunch of dudes. And so you're not going to like take bites off the same thing. And so it just turns into like a kind of a, a crow magnum circle of people with clubs and one dude holding a giant turkey leg and you're just all pulling and ripping meat off of the thing but it doesn't matter you've got sticky fingers because you're, you're standing in front of you're standing in front of cinderella castle and you've just walked down main street maybe you've just hopped off the ferry boat walked down main street underneath the train station at walt disney world you hear the sights and the sounds and you probably don't hear the sights you probably you see the sights you hear the sounds you're you're being inundated with sensory overload and all of these things combine and they have just so much potential because you know you're starting a day at Walt Disney World and the first thing you do is you walk down Main Street and you see the castle at the end of Main Street and man it's beautiful and that's that's what this castle is it is my childhood. I went to Disney World so much as a kid. I love the parks so much. I cannot wait to take my kids to the parks so that they can experience just a little bit of what I got to experience as a kid. And I'm fully aware, not everyone has these same associations and these same biases. And there's plenty to appreciate about this little set completely on its own. But for me, this one, it hits a little different, you know? That being said, in terms of popularity, I still think this is going to be one of the more popular sets and the, one of the more hard to find sets that have come out this year. I only bought two sets on October 1st, and that was the Mini Disney Castle and the Santa Slay set because I assumed those are the two that would sell out. Sure enough, they are both sold out right now on lego.com. So I'm sure a lot of other people share my love and fascination with the Disney parks and also wanted to pick up this set. Now, if you're not like me and you don't love Disney and you don't love Disney parks and you don't love joy and you don't love happiness and you don't love the literal happiest place on earth, well, then this set could still, I guess, be a pretty nice parts pack. It's got a bunch of these like shiny blue pieces, a whole bunch of gold in here. Like the whole thing's just full of gold binoculars and other little spires and whatnot. So sure, pick this thing up for 35 bucks for a bunch of pieces or scalp it and sell it on the on the resellers market because you have no soul clearly what may be my favorite part about this set is that it is as far as i can tell an official piece of walt disney world's 50th anniversary merch line that the logos are on the box walt disney world opened october 1st 1971 and so this year 2021 is the 50th anniversary there is a whole bunch of new awesome stuff going on down at the parks i wish i could be there but don't worry it's a whole it's like a year and a half long celebration this so there's plenty of time for us to get down there but it's also it makes sense that we are celebrating this set and walt disney world in the fall because they opened in the fall and that's just like such a magical time to visit the parks because again i grew up in south florida and we didn't really have a fall leaves don't change there seasons don't exist there well I was, I, we get hurricane season but that's not that's not quite the same as all of the leaves turning orange and you rake them up and stuff i get a little bit of that experience now that i live in texas but didn't get a whole bunch of that in florida and so the disney parks at the holidays man that just hits different. So the air is getting a little cooler. The leaves are starting to change color. There is a whole bunch of pollen in the air and allergies are going crazy. It's fall here in Texas. It's fall here on the channel. Look, I carved a pumpkin and of course it's fall in Walt Disney World. What better time to celebrate the Disney parks, the Disney legacy, and this beautiful little Disney castle. As always, I hope you enjoyed coming on this little magical journey with me today as we almost kind of sometimes talked about this Lego set. Sorry I wasn't so angsty, sarcastic, or cynical in this video. You just can't get me down on a beautiful fall day building a beautiful Lego Disney castle. Come on, man, you just can't get much better than that. I gotta head out. I gotta buy a pumpkin spice latte and a bunch of new Argyle sweaters. So if you'll do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.